Hmm. I have about 30 minutes before my Civilization Six tournament starts online. I wonder if I can get that jQuery stuff done first. Yeah, let me switch over and do that. First, let's find the official documentation on this jQuery upgrade issue. Here's the overview of the jQuery 3.5 upgrade here on docs.splunk.com. Here we have the overview of the jQuery 3.5 upgrade and the products it affects. Okay, according to this manual, I need to update both private and public applications as well as update my custom dashboards. I can also restrict jQuery libraries and get ahead of this. Neat. All right, now that we've read the information on docs.splunk.com, let's head to the Upgrade Readiness application and go to the jQuery Scan section. Okay, it seems like four of these applications require an update. Let's now go over to the jQuery Upgrade Dashboard. Let me set the time range to 30 days instead of 24 hours. I have one classic dashboard that needs upgrading. I can do that easily, no problem. Let me check if I have any HTML dashboards that need to be rewritten in Dashboard Studio. I don't have any. Let's go ahead and fix our one simple XML dashboard and make it ready for jQuery 3.5. Let's click into the dashboard. And as you see here, we get a warning that this dashboard is not compatible and will not be available in future versions of Splunk. So let's edit the dashboard and go to the source and let's switch the version flag from 1.0 to 1 1 and let's save it as you can see now the warning has gone away and now we have a simple XML dashboard ready for jQuery 3.5 now that I've updated all of the apps and allowed the upgrade readiness app to rescan both my Python and my jQuery all my apps are now passing they're all up to date and they will be available for future versions of Splunk Okay, now that I've done a simple XML dashboard upgrade and upgraded several of our apps to be compatible with jQuery 3.5, let's see if I can remove a vulnerability from my Splunk instance in the next couple of minutes. What we're gonna do is navigate to settings, server settings, internal library settings, and let's find the restrict jQuery libraries older than 3.5. Super simple. I think everything is fixed, but by restricting these libraries, I can probably test my updates in a test environment, and if things are still breaking, can I still turn it on? Yes, I can. Great. Let me double check if anything else is breaking. Well, it seems like things are all working and my Splunk instance is safer than ever. Now we're ready to have these updates in our production environment. Wow, look at the time. Okay, I think I've got everything fixed. I've got the libraries restricted. I've got the dashboards fixed. And I still have six minutes to get into the tournament. So it's time to play.